Hello, good morning. It's Wednesday the 27th. I'm FX Plue and this is the Market Brief. Uh, so it looks pretty likely that the Bank of England will raise interest rates by 50 basis points when the MPC meet next week. Uh, the Bank of England is pretty much in step with the other G7 central banks in seeing inflation as the priority to deal with and rate hikes are therefore the way forwards. Energy prices have contributed a lot to the cost of living um, and don't forget they're due to go up again in the autumn. Consumers are tending to look to the government for support now, but that has not traditionally been the case. It seems that all of uh, Sunak's pandemic support may have set a dangerous precedent for the country's coffers. Well, for the Conservative coffers anyway. That's probably something to revisit uh, just before the next general election. Uh, but anyway... Whether it's fear of Sunak getting the chequebook out again, uh, or indeed the attacks that have been made on his privileged upbringing, suggesting that the billionaire might, just might, be out of touch with the wider electorate, uh, Liz Truss looks to have opened uh, a healthy gap in the leadership race. Uh, the markets are comfortably into the summer lull now. Um, where the central bank actions are fairly predictable uh, and so trading ranges have naturally compressed. We'll probably need to see a surprise 1% rate hike from the Fed or perhaps much softer guidance from Powell in order to encourage any volatility this week. Uh, sterling traded between about 119.65 and around 120.90 against the dollar yesterday. Uh, on the open today, cable was around 120.60. Uh, we're around 118.80 against the euro. Uh, and euro dollar kicks off around 101.50. So yes, the Fed meeting. All eyes are on Washington for the rate decision and indeed Powell's press conference, which will follow this evening. Uh, Powell's Fed has become rather enslaved by controlling inflation with rate hikes. Um, indeed, another uh, a further 75 basis point rate hike is expected today, which will bring their overall rate to 2.5%. And indeed, 2.5% has been touted as the neutral rate for a while now. But with inflation still on the rise, that's certainly not the case right now. However, in the post-COVID world, supply is equally important as an inflationary driver. And where um, rate hikes only affect demand-driven inflationary pressure, there is a chance Powell may take the... Um, the summer break is an opportunity to, to pause, review and assess. So he may well soften any expectations for a September rate hike. Um, we'll find out in the press conference later tonight. Uh, for now, though, the dollar index is treading water around 107.25. It lacks any upward momentum, but it is finding support at the lower levels. Uh, but all that could easily change if Powell were to soften his tone. So if you can't sleep for the excitement, tune into the financial news around 7.30 tonight. Um, otherwise, I'll give you a brief summary of the action when, when, uh, when we do the market brief tomorrow. That's something to look forward to, surely. Toodaloo. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.